hey guys welcome back to next gen blog and in this video i want to show you how you can float any object realistically in vstc video editor pro version now it's actually super easy to float any object realistically in vstc pro so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this i've already imported a demo transparent image in the editor so this is my image present right here and as you can see this is an image of a cube now to float this cube what you need to do first is you need to double click on your image next you need to go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and now click on ok now currently the duration of the zoom effect is the entire duration of my image in the timeline that is 10 seconds. So I would like to reduce the duration of the zoom effect to just 4 seconds. So inside the duration option you need to write 04.000 and now press enter on the keyboard. Now look inside the zoom settings and you will find this option called levels where currently the value is 100%. So you need to click on this three dots which is present on the extreme right of the levels option and the moment you click on this three dots this graph is going to open up. Now click on templates and select this particular template that is sinusoid. Now the moment you click on the sinusoid template you will see this template settings dialog open up. Inside minimum curve value you need to write 100. Inside maximum curve value you need to write 125. And inside frequency you need to write 6 hertz. And now click on the OK button. Alright. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. So right here, I have successfully applied a sinusoid zoom in and zoom out on top of my image. Alright, now next what we are going to do is we will now apply the rotate effect. So go to video effects once again, go to transforms, select rotate and now click on OK. Currently the duration of the rotate effect is 10 seconds so decrease the duration of the rotate effect to 4. So inside the duration option write 04.000 and now press enter on the keyboard. Now look inside the rotate settings which is present inside the properties window and you will find this option called rotate angles where currently the value is 30 degree. Now once again click on this three dots which is present on the extreme right of the rotate angles option. The moment you click on this three dots this graph is going to open up. Now click on this templates option and select this particular template that is zigzag 2. Now the moment you click on zigzag 2 this template settings dialog is going to open up. Inside minimum curve value 0 is there so that's fine. Inside maximum curve value 360 is there so that's fine as well. And inside frequency currently the value is 3 hertz. So increase the value inside the frequency option from 3 hertz to 6 hertz. And now click on the OK button. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. Now the object is going to zoom as well as rotate both at the same time. So let me just play the video for you once again. As you can see the object is zooming and rotating both at the same time. Perfect. And finally what we are going to do is we will apply the shake effect. So Go to video effects once again, go to transforms, select shift and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the shift effect is 10 seconds. So decrease the duration of the shift effect to 4. So inside the duration option, you need to write 04.000 and now press enter on the keyboard. 
Now look inside the shift settings which is present inside the properties window and you will find these two options X shift levels and Y shift levels. Now first what you need to do is click on this three dots which is present on the extreme right of X shift levels. So click on this three dots. Now the moment you click on this three dots this graph is going to open up. Now go to templates and select zigzag one. Now the moment you click on zigzag one this template settings dialog is going to open up. Inside minimum curve value you need to write minus 22. Inside maximum curve value you need to write 22. And inside frequency you need to write 88. And now click on the OK button. Now look inside the shift settings once again and this time you need to click on this three dots which is present on the extreme right of Y shift levels. So click on this three dots and after you click on this three dots go to templates once again and select zigzag one once again. Now this time inside the template settings dialog inside minimum curve value you need to write zero. Inside maximum curve value, you need to write 22. And inside frequency, you need to write 88. And now click on the OK button. And that's it. And so now, if I just play this entire thing for you from the start. Now what is happening is, the object is zooming, rotating and shaking all at the same time and this in turn creates this sort of floating effect which you can see on screen perfect so this is how you can float any object realistically in VSTC Pro do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.